through though. Fnatic, they're in a great spot right now. Obviously not so much being in the lower bracket, elimination on the line, but if they can't win this game, then that would be uh, that would be a weird, weird world we live in. That being said, Heretics, upset team all the way. They've got some great players. Uh, this is a go-to map for them that they've beaten Fnatic on before. It did go the full 30, but JW doesn't want to wait. He is right behind enemy lines in the back of the lobby after pushing Yard. He's missed Lucky on the timing. His footsteps might even get heard. Oh dear, now they can turn around and they can deal with him. Nivera's checked it. JW backs up into the lobby and into his own death. That is unfortunate. Meanwhile, Lucky's taken A and Heretics are going to double back into it. Just Crimson Flusher left. The rest of Fnatic have been melted like it's casual. You know, I see Flusher. I see his mouse getting some distance off the mouse pad and I think, you know, maybe there's a chance. Maybe there is still a world in which you're able to make this look doable. Lucky going to give up his position on the CT vent. Crim's trying to clear the lobby. These fights are a must win. And with Keo plucking Flusher out of the round, Crim's is now actually trapped here in the lobby. And that might be where he finds himself having to go wait in the lobby. It's a round for Heretics. 1-0 and as they get the pistol under their belt. Yeah, that was a bit of a classic, right? The uh, We call that the Hugo, actually, funnily enough. They were rushing ramp with one waiting in the hut for an aggressive CT, and Lucky is that guy waiting, not only getting a kill into A. I, I love what we just saw. That, that looked like it was like a motivational poster, but it was just a stat with a face behind it. Sorry, Hugo. Yeah, no, it's Didn't mean fine. to segue you out of your actual point there. I, I, it doesn't matter. It probably wasn't that good anyway. I didn't see what happened on screen, but uh, yeah, you know, I like the pistol. Obviously, JW... Unfortunate, he misses the timing. Lucky walks into the hut right as he starts running. So, very unfortunate. Now Mac 10s out for Heretics. They're going quick in the ramp. JW with a scout. Oh, he just gets domed. Lucky is looking warmed up. And that's the thing, right? You know, we, we talk about uh, Heretics having that upset potential. They got nothing to lose in this series and everything to gain. Oh, boy. Why not bring the pain? Golden, he's going to get two with a deeg. Smoke himself off so he can... Fame that he gets out the door, but he'll stay hanging around as Heretics bounce back the other way. They want to go towards that top site. Fnatic, they played Astralis and were constantly getting dealt rough hands where they'd rotate lower and then lose upper and it would be all these fakes. So as long as they have that game in the back of their mind, they're not going to be making these same mistakes. Heretics going quiet and Crims is curious. Oh no, the weapon swap, it doesn't matter. He gets away with a D kill. That's more than you can ask for considering the timing. It could have been the round right then and there, but instead it's Heretic still under question moving outside. Oh, Golden though, just giving that kill up and now that A play is solidified for Heretics. Brolin is still inside of the site. I see Brolin, I see CZ, and I think about some things that this man has done with this little gun. So let's see. If he's able to hold on to this site, the bomb gets dropped down, and now he knows that this ruse is working perfectly. They tap it, he swings out, but XMS is oh, one man. step ahead, and he's going to lock in the round for Team Heretic. So a second solidified over on the scoreboard, and now for Fnatic, it is back to the drawing board. Yeah, more Ecos. This is the perfect round for a Zeus if you're JW. Did manage to pull that out in the Astralis series just the other day. But nothing for now. No investment for Fnatic wanting to save all their money that they can. And of course, JW wanting the AWP as soon as possible. Zeus not really returning that money. Not expensive either. Heretics fast out A. They are going to send Keo down the vent with that smoke in front. And uh, knowing the Fnatic can't stop it given the lack of weaponry. JW even gets mollied on the hut roof and, and pushed to the other side. So he doesn't even see the vent dive, but he does hear it. Kyo wasn't exactly quiet about it. Maka has come all the way towards Secret and is looking for a pick in the yard. Oh dear, missed Molotov. Meant to be for main. Instead, it gets flashed out. There's no one there, luckily enough. But Golden, man, his deeg is looking fresh. Third kill with it. And now we're going to see Heretics just drop lower. Oh, Kyo with a little quick flick with the Mac 10. Now he's looking for even more. And he will get even more. It's that easy. It's that easy. So yeah, this is pretty much it. Hope you guys are having fun. <laughs> you know, for Heretics.
Keep you guys updated on what's happening behind the scenes here in the studio. I've just seen that we've had AC put in, which I'm very happy about. So that's good. No more 30 degree heat outside, 50 degree heat inside. I can breathe again. I was going to give a B stream update because I haven't been following the games before I forgot that the B stream has ended. That's done and dusted, at least for now. You go, that's normally where we are, actually. Yeah, so, funnily yeah. enough. That's we, normally our territory. We, we get made it. that mistake. I'm sad, man. I love the Aussie casters. Yeah. I love the lingo, especially. <laughs> My favorite word that I learned when I was in Australia is cooked. That's still one that I use an awful lot. <laughs> um, so yeah, shout out one time to that little country known as Australia. Tiny place, obviously. Well, right now, Heretics, they are in control of this one. Fnatic have their first gun round, though, and this is what we've been waiting for. The Eco's done and dusted, and Fnatic, they're going to have to let this cross outside, right through the molly, into the spray. Lucky, he does not wait for Fnatic. He's right down into secret. Hacker, oh, great position. Even catches Golden off guard, but he's going to whiff this shot. And Golden, man, Golden's looking great right now. I know we're super early, but he's the one player for Fnatic finding kills in all these rounds so far. JW hiding at the back of ramp. He might have been spotted there. Yep, deep flashes coming through. They aren't looking at him, though, so tension getting drawn by Golden. He just needs to live now because JW can turn this whole operation upside down and inside out. Keo's looking towards the bottom of ramp, and they have their backs turned. This is so patient. The longer he waits, the more effective this is. Oh, dear. Forget I said anything. A dink onto XMS, and he is going to live to fight another day. Swapping out to the MAC-10. Flushes here, already waiting in the wings. Dropping Keo. Swinging, but Nevera is going to trade, and this is going very well for Heretics, all things considered. Oh, Nevera even dealing with Golden. This is brutal. Brolin's going to try and do what he can, but he can't quite deny that bomb plant. So now him and Crims, two on two in the retake. Nevera over here at ramp. Oh, just sneaking his way downtown, and Nevera. 23 points of health, one shot away from certain death and maybe about to deliver a 1v2 that Heretics desperately need. Brolin on the other side, but Nevera's got them all. Four in the round, 6-0 and o on the scoreboard and a fourth for Heretics locked in by Nevera. Very much under control right now. I'm liking what we're seeing. I hope it's not a, you know, a sleepy fanatic. Well, not sleepy, obviously, but uh, slow out of the gate and, you know, it's late to warm up. We saw that against Astralis. Obviously, Astralis had a great game uh, the other day in that, uh, in that opening matchup. But Fnatic, it felt like they never really appeared. They never really came alive on Nuke. Took them train to get to OT, only to fall just a bit too short. Entry from Macker again, another opening kill, no AWP needed. And Heretics are using that opening kill to their advantage, taking a lot of space outside. Lucky, he is battling back against Golden, who won't be hitting any D shots now. Uh, yeah, dangerous spam back through the smoke. It only draws Keo uh, into that fight. He could have lived if he just ran around, but uh, Tracer's giving away his position and finished off by the AK. Heretics. And a five on three. No reason to rush, no reason to move. You can just wait and see if Fnatic give you any more engagements, especially when those smokes begin to fade. I like the patient default from Heretics. They still have a man in secret as well, so some information towards that lower bomb site. Well, this is... Uh Ooh, that's a nice D from Crims, but it comes abruptly to a halt. Heretics up 5-0. and oh. I do love this storyline of Nevera, right? Everyone always loves to point out Scream's brother, of course, right? And obviously, ever since we lost Scream to Valorant, it becomes that much more appealing to speak about how Nevera's continuing, like, the family name. But I will say it's important to realize this young man is trying to carve out his entire own legacy, right? He's not just riding on the coattails of his brethren. Now he wants to be his own thing and he's certainly making an impression right now versus Fnatic. And my source tells me that apparently very different to his brother in game and yet outside of that, when he's actually playing next to his teammates, he acts, he reacts exactly like Scream. Apparently it's uncanny. That's a great thing because Scream's super entertaining. So I'm all for that. And we get 
hopefully Nivera at some lands in the future when that happens again one day. It's right. only 19. It's definitely going to happen one day. Yeah. That would be a very short career if not. Or maybe the world will come to an end. Who knows? But uh, yeah. Always cheery topics of conversation with you two. I can always rely on, you know, looking at the bright side the once carry. I've had a Frankie and Hugo segue. You bring us up, we bring it back down. And yeah, I mean, it is scary. Fnatic Online, Frankie, we've already talked about that so much and the struggles that they have had. But right now, Brolin is not having any trouble on top of the silo, dropping the bomb. It's out in the site. Heretics have to commit. They've got to do and then die. Lucky has got them both. And he gets a kill, but swiftly traded by JW's AWP. Finally in the server with two. And Fnatic, they get on the board. Yeah, it was about time. Fnatic going to grace that scoreboard. It does feel like during this online era, it's like teams, and, and this kind of feeds into the whole idea of online being more random. Yeah. No team has been able to just hold down that number one spot, right? Like, you think Fnatic, they peaked at number one during EPL and RTR, and then they immediately fell off. Mouse Sports came into the year as number one. They immediately fell off. Big, they claim number one. We just witnessed them fall off. Yep. It's, it's a real, real turbulent time. It's scary, and it, that's why I kind of want Astralis back up at the top, you know, for that sense. Like, if this new roster can be can be super powerful, that'd be really cool. Oh, nice kill from Crims. He actually fakes going down and comes back up. There's two players here. He's baiting them in. He is dead. Do they check it? No! They line up, and a double kill from Flusher keeps Fnatic in this round by the skin of their teeth. Two on two. Golden's taking the lobby, and his teammate's still on the A site with him. Heretics are clearing out lower as we speak, and the bomb plant will be allowed. Yeah, keo has got that locked in at least. Brolin and Golden in the retake now. Gonna start to feed their way down here towards ramp, slow and steady on this rotation. And if it's to be in slow, is that you also come in low and quiet. And so, no one aware of this yet, but Keo is not taking his eyes off of ramp. He is adamant. And as I say, he takes his eyes off ramp. But now back to ramp. Here he is, Kiyoshima, ready to put a stop to this retake. Uh, oh, there's wow. Keo with four. Six on the board for Heretics. And it was a little bit of a rough start, but a strong finish from Kiyoshima to get a sixth up there on the tally. Yeah, he's looking great individually, and, and there is so much firepower inside of this team. Even if maybe people aren't familiar with some of the names, like Mac is a sick Orpa, Nivera X Orpa, great rifler. Uh, Kiyo, I mean, I don't need to explain who he is. If you know Counter-Strike, you know Kiyo. And... Yeah, it's great to see him looking good. Trigger happy in that round, right? Shoots at the blood on the wall. Hopefully he's got a clear decal, a clear decal's bind. And right now, Heretics, six one up in great spot. Fast towards ramp, Flash is gonna drop one. Flash will miss, and he's gonna get a chance to stand tall. The smoke is good, Maka climbs above it on the boxes, and will get traded after one. Golden, again, doing as Golden does, and saving the day, three on ramp. And now just Keo. Well, we've just hyped him up in his last round with a 4K. Let's see if he can do it again, all on his own. I'm not really favoring the odds in this one. He's encircling ramp rule. He's expecting the push from Trophy, checking his corners, and Golden is just squatting there. He's ready for Kia to push. Kia, check behind your back, mate. No. Okay. Into Trophy, checking ramp again. He's... I feel like the Fnatic rap should come in, but actually it looks like Fnatic are happy to just let Keo sit there. They're not really feeling the pressure to take this gun away from him. Yeah, already you can you can kind of see the differences as to how like a team like Fnatic are approaching this and a team like Big, right? Like Big, they would swarm you in this situation, <laughs> whereas Keo is given a lot of respect and a lot of room here to try and navigate this 1v4. Now, is that something Fnatic are going to come back to have punished them? Keo makes his way down into this B site. Forget about rambling, man. He's a gambling man as he's got this bomb now down in towards B. Tries to get it planted in the smoke. Brolin's going to spam, but doesn't commit to a fight just yet. Swings the door out and is just trying to buy time for the rest of Fnatic to come in on rotation. Keo, this is not an easy round and Golden's going to get rid of him. So Fnatic, they do manage to get a second up on the tally as they find this one pretty damn cleanly, thanks to Golden locking it down at ramp. Yeah, double orb saved as well is worth noting. 
So Fnatic, where are they going to be putting that second one? I imagine the ramp outside split, pretty standard on Nuke, but you can have that uh, second orb as a rotate in heaven if you like, and just switch, uh, swip swap between the A site and ramp support. Swip swap. Switch, swap. Swip swap. I like it. Well, they're in the end. Words, they're hard. I find them harder than most. I'm in the wrong job. Shush, switch out. Yeah, this was the RTR of this game that the stat is talking about. Um, just recently, of course, Fnatic win that series. It took them three maps, 16-14s on the first two, and it's the same two that we have opening up this series, New Conferno. So even that spells, not disaster, but a bit of worry for Fnatic in the sense that we've seen Heretics win this map before, and they also put up a damn good fight on Inferno as well. So, you know, if Fnatic are, are coming in slow into this one, then that could come back to bite them. But I don't want to make any assumptions at 6-2, like, the, the, like the, this is a problem yet. It's really not, especially when we saw dominant T-sides on Nuke in that earlier game. Two, nine, six halves. You're just saving yourself for the uh, quintuple overtime. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to, you know, lose all my energy here and now. You got to save some of it for later. Well, energy saving Byron's have been fitted in the studio, so let's see. Flusher gonna hold down ramp with this orb, but he's got players on the other side, but they're not coming into his crosshair just yet. It's a nice slow approach here from Heretics as they group on up and now get ready to pull the trigger on this ramp play. There is a flash on Keo to get them in. The moment that flash comes through, Flusher probably going to take a shot and just hop his way down the ramp. Now backing away. Flash actually never leaves Keo's hands. JW here with the other AWP. And oh, he decides to get out of danger. Leaves ramp open. And this now leaves Flusher at the B site looking for an angle to take. He's going to swing this door open to give himself a little gun port out. Heretics, look at them go. They're grouped up and they're a pack animal. As they make their way back into the lobby, it's Brolin holding down the hub. This is a scary place for this man to find himself, at least for Team Heretics, because we know what he's capable of. Brolin gets one, drops the smoke, denies this hut play, and Heretics is back to it. We're going on the full tour. Talk us through it, Kia. Like, what are we looking at right now? Going yeah, outside. We are. We've been okay. to ramp. We've been to hut. <laughs> I know Frankie really wanted to speak some French then because oui. pretty proficient at it. There we go. But look at the time. <laughs> 15 seconds. They're going to try and get in through main. Oh, bro. Oh, go, go. Oh, has this crossfire with Crims. They lose Crims, but this is where Brolin just locks it down. Uh oh, no. And that there is the round. Yeah, I thought Fnatic might cheese it a little bit and kill him after time. There was definitely the option there. But at this point, just getting the trades, getting the round, keeping your players alive is a focus of Fnatic. Up to three. Eco stopped and dropped. Heretics coming back in with guns. Yet to get Mac, uh, you know, showing us what he can do on this AWP. There's always time, and it is the T-side in Nuke, right? This is a very hard half to get a lot of value out of the orb. Certain great spawn points to go for, right? Like taking the door fight, uh, or, or just picking ramp, of course, outside. But we see so many smokes there quite often. A lot of early fights here for Fnatic. Brolin and Crims taking opening kills. Lucky's on B with a bomb. He's going to run through the smoke. I like it. Flasher caught walking into the ramp, thinking he was going to be able to get close enough to stop that plant. Well, the plant comes to him, and Lucky has taken that AWP. Lucky's still down in B alone with the bomb on his back, though. And he kind of needs support from the rest of the gang because there's no, you know, getting out of this one. And actually, as I say that, he's going to get out of this one in through the double doors. And now an option to maybe go back up through vents into this A site. But that hinges on getting kills here. It's all about what heretics want to do now because they've got like pieces of the puzzle. It's all about arranging them. And with Lucky still waiting down on B, they're going to see what they can accomplish here outside. Losing XMS now, in my mind, solidifies that this might have to be a B commitment. The bomb is still making its way over towards vents. And with that kill from Maka, now maybe there's a chance. But it's all about clearing out Crims, who lies in wait here next to the vents. If Lucky does try and come up, he will promptly be put down. Oh, JW so close as well. 
but yet so far they're waiting on this ramp lock. But again, time could be the bane of Heretic's existence. JW, he is not going to be expected here, but Mac uh, Lucky is clearing every angle. Does he clear this one? Macus spots him. There's the info. He doesn't need to commit. The pistol's out, and it will not find a thing. No way in hell Heretic's going to win this round. That is crazy. The plant is covered by the Molotov that does considerable damage to Crims, and they're both back up on the rafters. I like the post plants. Wallbang is coming through, nothing connecting, and Fnatic double back to the double doors. Yeah, Lucky holding it with the AWP, the flash misses, and that's a free kill for Lucky. Golden left in the clutch, swings the doors, wow. but Mac is there. And that's a 2 four for Team Heretics. Lucky stays alive in B the whole damn round and is there to see it through to the very, very end. That's a bit of a heartbreaking one for Fnatic to have slipped by the wayside. Tack pause cooled on in. They can go for an investment thanks to JW having so much extra money. He can drop guns around, but even then, it's going to be a little more limited than perhaps you would like, especially with this lead getting more and more solidified by Heretics round by round. Yeah, it's crazy how much room Fnatic gave Heretics in that round. For, for Maka to just fully wrap the outside and get towards ramp after killing Brolin in heaven, obviously that's the kill that gives him the room, but... Yeah, what can Fnatic do about that? They don't want to over-aggress and be caught on rotation, so they just sit in their spots. JW has a great position, but, you know, pistol out. He was hoping for a fight on the site from an unsuspecting player, but instead it's a ramp rap. And, yeah, rifle versus pistol at that range, going to lose it if you're JW, sadly. If he had his AWP out, maybe he could have hit it. But not happening, and the B site lost Heretics with a plant, and they even hear the rotate down vent. So all the info is there as well. That was a really nice play from Heretics. They bled the round for everything they could get. What they got was a win. 7-3. Fnatic still with a bit of money left, but this will be their last buy. JW with the AWP, and oh, Lucky, he's going to capitalize Crim's reload. That's all the audio Lucky needs. He sees the AWP, and he does the damage. Won't finish the kill, but that's going to send JW scared off. Golden flies up the vents, and he has been the one bastion of hope here on this CT side. Can he stay alive any longer? It's a no. XMS triple entry into A, finishing the job that Lucky started onto JW, and Flusher, all on you, bud. Yeah, the bomb plant's getting covered by XMS and he's not in a missing oh, mood. Yeah. There it is. Four kills in the round for him. I'm getting some flashbacks to like years ago now. You remember that one like XMS clip on Overpass? Oh, I think yeah. It was like... Uh, My favorite caster actually covered that one. It was, yeah. That was super sick. Matthew Trivet? Yeah. Yeah, he was there. Alongside me. Harry Russell. That was, one uh, taps. Yeah, no, that was a sick play. And I just got some memories of that there with that upper push, right? He only gets four, but they're all like these really nice headshots on the entry. XMS is looking good. I always think like if we can get him back to old form, this could be a very, very terrifying man to run into. It is just pistols now for Fnatic and Maka with this AWP in hand off to uh, rip roaring start. Ooh. Lucky. Here's something that you're going to learn about playing against JW. He will do the most ridiculous things. He's hidden in this smoke. He's trying to piece together, like, how do I get a knife kill here? And sadly, it doesn't present itself. He's got the AK, though, and that's deadly in his hands. But Nevera is here to alleviate that pressure and deal with JW. Uh, Lucky's view model, assuming he has right hands, was fully blocking JW. So even after that smoke phase, he can't see him. And yeah, that's uh, very unfortunate for him. But exactly what JW needed to open up this round. It's still not a lot though, a man down. And Heretics, I love how slow they're playing. They just stop and hold the line. Golden wants info, and he's gonna get a bullet in the face instead. This is Makazor coming alive in this round, Brolin. I love it, brilliant, but only a dink, unfortunately. Keo will kill him, and Flusher, once again, in a very undoable clutch. He does get a kill, but that gun is pretty irretrievable right now. He's going to try and wrap Lobby and XMS. Man, he is clean right now. And yeah, it's, it's worth noting as well, Heretics, for a team like this, for an upcoming young hungry team, they're playing a lot of online, right? They're, they're used to this setting. They're comfortable right now. And as we know, as we always say, Fnatic are land kings. So that's certainly going to play in the, the favor of Heretics. Of course, these rounds are great right now. They're, they're having some nice ideas. Um, but something like that, we've seen teams struggle with the online factor, and Fnatic are definitely one of them. One of the things I really liked is I read an interview with Maka, and he just said how in this team, obviously, there's a lot of experience at like every level, and he feels like they've struck a perfect balance. And 
I feel like we see that in these crunch time moments, you know, like knowing when to slow down, when to pick up the pace. And Maka, okay. through the smoke, through the wall, the man in question, able to rid the world of Golden. And now into this four on four, the AWP getting warmed up. And that's a scary sight to see. JW shows you don't always need the big green gun to have fun. He deals with a man trying to get across and then Brolin follows up, XMS and Keo. Two on three now. And Brolin over here on top of the hut looking to shut this round down. He's gonna go ahead and drop down into the lobby. Flusher wrapping up through secret in the meantime. Crim's holding CT Ben. Keo's making noise. And XMS turning on a dime, but just a second too late for Flusher. Now leaves Keo in a very rough spot. He doesn't know about Brolin. Who on earth would know about Brolin here? He's behind enemy lines. And so for Keo, this round should be undoable. Yeah, and Brolin knows about him. Not where he is now, but where he just was. Keo threw a hut roof molly. And so obviously that means he's on T roof, or at least he was. So Brolin is outplaying him with his flank. He didn't spot him outside, but he's coming in through the hut. And Keo is going to begin to make noise if he wants to win this round, that is. There was simply no time to get that bomb. He was looking for kills and nothing but kills. Brolin is full of them and we'll keep this round intact for Fnatic. Still a great T-side from Heretics. Even if this ends nine to six, they'll be happy, but why end here when you can build up even more? If they want to take the hit with the AWP um, and not have it in this round, Maka and I think it was Lucky can both drop over guns and we can get a pretty decent buy. Or they can eco and, and hero AK, yeah, that's fine, and still have the AWP in the next round. So this, bo both options are good. Really, just whatever your game plan is, and Heretics are going to rely on Maka to do the heavy lifting in this round. So JW getting the lines blurred between shotgun and AWP once again as he goes aggressive in through the hut. He's got Brolin nearby to help him out in the event that he misses his shot, and he will. The most important thing is that he uh, he shooted his shot, and that's a lesson we can all learn from. Brolin. Don't swap any other vowels there. No. <laughs> Ooh, Maka over here with that hero AK looking for a kill that's not going to present itself. Deagle out now for Lucky. Hard pressed to get much done here as it is just a slaughterhouse outside. JW trapped behind the vent, but that might be the only kill that's found in this round for Team Heretics. Keo, 1v4 required, armed with nothing more than a deagle. You're asking a hell of a lot of him, especially as he walks into this heavily stacked A bomb site. There are going to be so many crosshairs on him. How on earth do you get around that? And the answer is you don't. It's Fnatic donning a fifth round. Crim saves the orb too, so no money worries for Fnatic coming into the last of the half. But yeah, they, they've at least resurged. They've come up with a few rounds near the end of things. Heretics looking for a quick pause before they go into the final round here. See if they can get double digits. That would be really nice if so. When we look at opening jewels, Golden is leading the fray in the server. Four and zero, looking really, really good. Uh, and, and that's nice to see. And Brolin close behind at three and one. So... If anything, the opening jewels are favoring Fnatic heavily in this map, despite them being down significantly by four rounds. Nine in favor of Fnatic, five in favor of Heretics. So in fact, the opposite of the scoreline. That just goes to show how many rounds Heretics are getting. Uh, oh, sorry, how many either trades Heretics are getting or coming back from four on fives. So impressive stuff from this young, hungry team to make a meal of Fnatic. Mac is going to try and creep up behind this smoke. There's a re-smoke throwing down there, but it's left a bit of a gap. That's what that second one's for. That denies JW the vision he was hoping for. Great molly. Yeah, that slowed down this push, and it's kept the majority of players trapped outside. They have to run through another Molotov just to get down. And now that they're in B, they're not really in B just yet. Flusher is still here and still a threat as he pokes his head out the window. How much is that flusher in the window? Nevera going to make a cool $300 for it. So he's happy about that. Down goes JW as well. And this B bombsite crumbles underneath the heel of the heretics. Golden 
denied a peek at ramp and with a player in the form of Kiyoshima wrapping in through the lobby, Golden's days on this earth might be limited. And even then, oh my, it all falls onto Brolin in this 1v5. All the damage you're seeing pretty much is from Molotovs in this round. Fnatic have done something like 250 damage on Mollies, but only now do they get their first kill. Brolin finishing the job onto Maka, but is this one too far gone? More likely than not, he's got a, not a lot of time to hit these shots, and lucky it's just going to overwhelm him. Give them five. You can tell that because it's got two digits in it, Hugo. Wow, mind equals blown, Harry. You've really done the maths on me there. Brolin, he's uh, got the lights on for a change. He's got the windows open, so not sitting in the dark anymore. Can he bring some light to Fnatic here in the second half? Looking good in the pistol. Flusher finding one, and lucky gone in main as Fnatic overwhelm the B site. Oh, Nevera holding it down. Nevera with three. Where has that come from? Or maybe he's made this round doable now. Flusher and Golden. In this 2v2, but they lose gold and it falls to Flusher. And now he's trying to deal with Keo, but he can't find the shot. And it's a screamer from Nevera that gets that pistol round locked in for Team Heretics. Oh boy, this one's heating up and maybe going stone cold for Fnatic because down six rounds and with, uh, you know, no money either, no bomb plant to even enable deagles or a force buy that would look good. If they want to buy here, it would be a big risk and probably just dig that hole deeper, Frankie. We have been quite lucky so far at the one Cologne. We've not had too many tech issues, but apparently Heretics, the coach, has been kicked off his PC. So we're going to have a little bit of a pause as we watch Crims just rub his head for luck and hope that they can make something work and deny the conversion for Heretics. It's not really looking too good for Fnatic so far, not really coming on the server, although I'm glad to see Golden Boy has returned. Yeah, he is like the one guy who's doing stuff. Brolin has 12 kills. He's all right right now. But Golden, he was getting all those openings. He was hitting a lot of deeg shots, 4-0 uh, and oh in opening duels. But right now, it's just not mattering. It's not changing anything. Well, you said the magic word, Hugo. You mentioned Deagle. We love a dirty Deagle here at ESL. Dirty Deagle, dirty disco. We're going to see some highlights from ESL Pro League. The rest of the gang has smoked off in mid, but the B players are holding... And ESL Pro League returns in less than two weeks, 2nd of September. Mark it in your calendars and make sure you write a note to yourself. Do not leave your desktop anytime soon because we're about to get back into this game. There's just so much Counter-Strike to be watched, Frank. We've got two weeks of Cologne. We've got a month of Pro League. Then we got IEM New York right after with more, you know, uh, Road to Real Madness, uh, I guess. So that's going to be really exciting. 2020 is jam-packed full of Counter-Strike. And this door is jam-packed packed full of Swedes, Fnatic. They're running it down, but they are hitting the Molotovs. A brick wall. And Keo's SMG finding a lot of kills. Bomb plants and uh, allowed out on B. I don't know if Heretics realized that Flusher got down. He's dropped his pistol. Flusher doesn't even have a gun. He's I'm got all a for knife it. only. This is the next step. Yeah. Oh, what? How's he done that? He's got, a, he's got an MP9 now. All right. What's he going to do with it? He does get shut down. If that there, okay, that's the next, that's the next evolution of Fnatic. You throw the guns away. You have the knife in hand, only the knife. And then you have to get knife kills yeah. to earn the gun. It's like gun game. Yeah. Fnatic, that there is... <laughs> it's not scout knives, it's uh, bomb knives. That's so, oh man. No plant and stab. Flusher, yeah, like even Crims is like, oh, that's even gross by our standards, you know, like... What a dick. Yeah. <laughs> I love it as well because <laughs> Heretics was so not ready for that. Like, Flush just barrels up. There was Someone a guy already who came through, yeah. in the event. <laughs> <laughs> he gets the ninth kill. Oh, oh, that's brilliant. Oh, well, Flush is going to burn out another. Don't use guns. Just, you know, fire, knives, bombs. The man of... I was going to say many weapons, but... I guess not the guns. Who knows what's happening at this point? 12-5. No, okay, by Flusher. Finally, Vengeance is near. Vengeance is here. Lucky's going to spam him through the door smoke. And JW's got the orb outside. That's what we want from JW. Quick kill onto Maka, defeating the CT sniper. And now Lucky coming down the vents at the right time because Fnatic are moving heavily through secret. I hope that round was a reminder that Fnatic play their best when they're having fun. And that kind of scares me because I don't want Fnatic to be having fun if we want Heretic to have a chance. Lucky. Ooh. 
Good for one before he gets traded. And now we're into this three on two. Down through the vent, it's XMS. Lots of low players, but JW still holding his ground. And now event dive, or rather event inclined as they go back up into this A bomb site. And Nevera is left in a very, very tricky 1v3. Waiting out that molly as well. He's got a nade for the site. There's a low player. Ooh, is it bouncing on the other side? I think so. Golden will live to fight another day, and Nevera might fall away in this round. I think this is where someone like Keo certainly should remind his team of heretics that, okay, guys, we're in a great position. This is this is 12-6. We're fine. But don't for a second think that this game is done. Don't for a second think that we've beaten Fnatic because this is where they can come alive on the T side and set the pace and run their own style and show everything that they've been preparing over the last you know, month of player break. So, yeah, there's still some, some significant pressure here for Heretics to close this game out. And it's not going to be easy, especially not with the things we've seen from these last couple of rounds. JW's orb coming alive as well. We're going to see Lucky buy one up. Maybe he'll throw that to Maka. And yeah, AWP battle, time to shine. But a crucial round here, right? Because if Heretics immediately get back on the board and, and take a win here, they can break Fnatic's money and they can really run away with this map. But on the flip side, Fnatic can start to build and they'll have an eco on the CT's following. So let's see as these T's run round red. And into Maka they go. He deals with the first man. Now looking for the follow-up and a few more stragglers. Try and get past, but Lucky, Ooh. living up to his name, gets one through the smoke before being traded by Brolin. There's a smoke down, and that's going to keep Fnatic out of this B site for now. I leave Brolin here with the bomb, so it looks like it could still end up at B. It does have Golden now coming down to join him. Flusher is, is left outside to fend for himself. Flush is a big boy. He could take care of himself. So Keo here, going to miss the timing on this cross, and they do get past. Little does he know, Brolin's actually hounding him down. Falls prey to Keo Shima. Golden has the bomb on his back, and he makes noise going up the vent, trying to fake this rotation back towards the A site. But in doing so, he's given Nevera time to get posted up at ramp. This is a fight that Golden has to win, and he does. He wins it in one bullet. Down goes Nevera, and now a 1v2 for Golden. This man, he was elected to lead. Maybe to read as well, as he's going to have to do so in this 1v2. Flash is going out towards the double doors, but both players for Heretics over in Decon. Golden, another kill. Just the last man, a Maka. Oh. Damage done, but not good enough from Golden. It's 13 for Heretics, as that 3v1 ends in a 1v1 that they just about get over the line. I love watching Golden clutch, because all he's trying to do is, is give misinformation away and make Heretics doubt himself, right? Doubt themselves, right? You know, coming up the vent, faking it. Unfortunately for him, there was a player on A just watching the vent, so they knew that wasn't the case. When he plants, he opens the doors, he immediately repositions, they think he's pushed and he gets one, almost doubles down, but the trade comes through. And yeah, really nice try. And unfortunately, you know, it's heretic uh, for Fnatic again, for Fnatic, you know, heretics up to 13. Uh, luckily, the bomb plant will give them a good bit of money to continue to buy up. And if anything, Fnatic's buy is better than heretics. You could argue that. Three SMGs, JW not waiting for anyone, running right down the fence. He doesn't, he doesn't have the bomb, but he can cause a lot of. Uh, you know, issues just being in the back line here for Heretics. Nevera's come on rotation and he should be able to get in this corner before JW hits the window and has an angle to him. So Nevera doesn't need to fight this with this weapon. He can choose to instead. And JW is waiting for a ramp rotate that has come way before he arrived. And now Fnatic are kind of tiptoeing their way back over here towards Ram, looking like they want to try and use JW as like the first piece of the puzzle into the B site. Utility gets exchanged, nice. and JW head on a swivel. Oh. He's got to break glass to get himself out of there. Before breaking ground at the A bomb site, it's Golden on the entry. XMS is stuck between a rock and a hard place, and there's nothing harder than gold right now. As he puts XMS down, the bomb plant comes in. Lucky and Maka, two on five. And a very unlikely one at that, as this bomb is now firmly down in the A site. Plenty of time for Fnatic to get ready. 
it might just have to be the save here for Team Heretics. Yeah, right there. You know, we talk about Golden being great individually in this game. Well, there's his calling, saving Fnatic as well. You know, you get JW down lower. Already, there's one rotation in the form of Devera. Lucky drops in vents once Fnatic put pressure on ramp. And then they just double back and, and, and take the A site. Heretics getting caught off guard with lower rotations. And Fnatic just need one kill to brute force a bomb plant on A. So these guns need to be saved. They will be successfully. No one hunting them down. It's a small victory, at least for Heretics. Fnatic are building back into the second half. Seven rounds on the T side. And the money is gone, right? Remember, three SMGs in the previous. Heretics didn't really have a strong buy anyway. And it only gets worse. Honestly, you could argue a force here. We have players on 14, 1500. Uh, wouldn't be a bad idea to just throw everything in and try and play an aggressive round, try and get in the face of Fnatic, stop them from doing what they want. They're going to eco. It's fine. Nothing wrong with that. But uh, it's not like they'll be coming in with guns in the follow-up. For anyone hoping for anything exciting here, might be in for a nasty surprise. This is a very slow round for Fnatic. They know they're not going to be up against much, so they're not jumping the gun on anything just yet. They're going to line up this utility over here towards outside to facilitate a cross, or rather get it into the heads of heretics, that that's an option. We've seen them throw these smokes a lot and then sometimes not even use it. Sometimes they do. So we're going to have to wait and see what the game plan is there. This time it does look like they want to try and cross behind these smokes. Ooh. But not in the way that you might expect. They go through them, looking to wrap the A site. And these smokes have only further forced heretics in towards B. Maka is now there as well. So Lucky is alone at A. He hears the footsteps. He knows that this play is coming in. And he's tucked himself into the hut. But really, this round is now basically over. As uh, heretics have so many players having to begin a long rotate up. They didn't have much to begin with anyway. And they were just kind of relying on the coin flip, like going their way, right? If that was a B play, they've got four players there. They're laughing. And then seeing as the bomb goes, goes down in A, this is now the great situation just to, just to save. Yeah, the three USPs can either be bodyguards or they can wait for exit and try and take AKs away from Fnatic here. Mac is actually the one man with the M uh, AK in this round has just lost it to Crims outside. He was heaven or hell. And right now, Fnatic wait in purgatory. No rushing. Oh, he hits the best timing. JW steals the kill away. And no exits today. Uh, the bomb does a pretty good job. Kia might be able to grab a rifle. And that he will. So, yeah, it's not, it's not too bad for heretics. You know, they get out with a gun. And they still have to eco, remember. That was a very low economy round from them. But yeah, definitely realizing that this game is far from over. Fnatic with three bombs going off in this T side so far. Forcing a lot of saves and a lot of, you know, exits for heretics. That's about it. Oh my god, I'm a big fan on the fan. Uh, sorry, a big fan on the fan cam. It's Trey Stunner Saranthus. He does realize he doesn't actually have to wear that mask indoors. Hey, he's uh, he's all about the distancing. We've kept him away from us we for as long as we him can. At all, have we? We're just ignoring him. Hi, Trey. <laughs> Shh. What? Who mollies that? Brolin, bro. Come on. Give him a chance. That's a feels bad man for Keo. He's like, ha ha, I've got this spot that they just were, and then Molotov <laughs> and suddenly, oh goodness, somehow Brolin knows. So, you know, if the last round excited you, um, boy, are you in for a treat here, because it's more of the same. Four players for Heretics at the B site, but this time that is where the bomb is going. It's only these pistols, so like still a little ways away from being too excited yet, but maybe the sheer numbers is enough to accomplish something. And Nevera and Maka what? both getting kills. This is just USPs. Golden's dinked as well. Uh, oh no, this could go so, so wrong for Fnatic. What? Down goes Golden. How has this happened? Brolin and Flusher left to try and pick up the pieces. 
And my word, the USPs might be enough. They walked into the lion's den no. and then they're surprised as it roars to life. Brolin has to clutch and he can't. Heretics, they do it with USPs. They get a 14th round. E code, lol. What? How has that happened? Every shot they needed to hit, they hit it. They get guns. Maka one taps a player back on the ramp. And even as Brolin has a really good chance to clutch, as all he needs to do is get a player off the bomb for long enough. A few more seconds will do with no kit. He gets immediately shot in the face. I mean, that's just unbelievable. I've never seen anything like it. They had nothing. They've got nothing to lose. Yeah, and everything to gain. 14-8. Dear, oh dear, this isn't even the competitive game that we saw last time where Fnatic were able to get 14 rounds on this map just falling short. They might fall a long way off. Don't count them out before it's over, but 14-8, all it's going to take is a couple of well-placed shots to push Heretics over the line. That's just so rough that that round eludes them, right? Like any any momentum Fnatic were trying to build up is is surely shot now. Maka donning this AWP has ramp under lock. And I was going to say key, but does miss that shot there onto Crims. Nothing more than a glancing blow though in response. Crims catching a timing onto XMS. Here's the nade gets pulled and then peeks on the back of it. That's a nice way to take the five on four. Mac has actually gone aggressive in three ramp with this AWP and JW is in real danger. Or well, whoever goes around this corner first are falling prey to it. That's going to be golden into the firing line. And Maka, in response to getting that kill, just bows out, just gives it up, right? The four on fours given back over. They spot the bomb. So now they know what's going on in this round. Lucky's just got a little bit of information that Crims is still in the doors. And like Brolin's down on B, but... Unless they vent dive, he can just be a lost cause. He can try and come on up to help with this A play. But that's the only way they're going to get usage out of him. That flash has got to be good. Brolin does get up the vent and now Lucky up on top of the hut needs to make a difference. He's only good for one. It's Crims providing all the entries needed. Maka in this site, gonna try and deny the plot. They don't know, and he finds them both. Now down to the 1v2. JW wondering how has this gone so, so wrong? JW bomb planted for him. He's over towards Squeaky Maka in the site now, all alone as he loses his teammate. And JW mollies the bomb. He's playing for time, trying to bait this peak. Maka. Approaching the corner, slowly wow. does it, and he's gonna lock in the round. 15 for the Heretics as they reach map point in the 1v1. What a round from this man. We know he's a fast author, but that's the CZ. That's the building the little sidearm, the, the Lego creation that knocks down both players on the site. What a sick round from Maka. He can't stop them, you know, before the bomb, can't, the bomb plant comes in, uh, considering there's such low time. That could have been the round then and there, but he still wins the clutch with the 4K. Even after his teammate makes all that noise coming up the ladder, JW hits the immediate shot, but it's not enough, Harry. It might just be done here. 15 to 8, Fnatic, they've got more gun rounds. They've had plenty of chances, but Heretics have come, a, come ahead, come alive at every single opportunity. Lucky just missed that time. He didn't see JW above the silo. Question is, do they know he crossed to the back of Garage? Because it doesn't seem to be the case. He will have to let them cross towards Secret. So Fnatic can take control towards lower, but you notice Maka has already sent himself on rotation with that AWP, and he has had fast fingers in this map so far. Brolin won't commit down to his position. Keo's keeping an eye on the garage wrap, but with his teammate there, they already know that this is not a worry. Main is the only issue, and that's been smoked. Fnatic going to check it. Brolin falling short. They need a trade. Golden's on the other side of the garage. He's going to come in to try and finish it off. Flash is good, but the spray is better. Lucky Blind gets the kill. It's traded, but Keo double peeks out lower hell, and Heretics hold a four on two, about to win their map pick. Door opens, knock, knock. It's Flusher, XMS on the other side. 45 seconds here, and Fnatic's fate on Nuke hanging in the balance. They need a two on four. Everyone for Heretics over here on upper or outside. They do have Maka floating around secret. So if that bomb manages to get into B, he'll be available. Down goes Flusher. It's JW needing an ace, 1v4, to get this one past the keeper and keep the dream alive for Fnatic on Nuke. Down towards B he goes. 
you know, EK, a memento to Fnatic eras gone by. And if there ever was a time for this AK to find its blood, it's now. It's going to get the bomb planted at the very, very least. Here comes the rotation. Mac is not being discreet about it. Neither is anybody else. JW, what can he do? Mac are trained on the double doors. There's players everywhere. JW, wherever he picks, he is vulnerable to something. The double doors open. There's a player at ramp. There's a player at decon. And JW, oh, good for my. one. But that is it. Heretics. They'll grab the defuse. They take their map pick. They 16-8 Fnatic as they get 